Walker starting us off immediately. And I'm pretty sure this is not a 60 card mirror, but pretty darn close. If I do understand what's going on, I think they're both playing Ian Robb's list from Salt Lake City. And also for um, checking on that too, uh, Jeff was telling us that this is probably the most interesting matchup within the top eight currently, because both of the, this is a, they are playing close to the same 60, mm -hmm. so this calls for a very skill intensive mirror. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So right here, Brian Kennedy starting us off immediately. He is playing what looks like a quick ball. Jason? Yeah. It's his. And uh, so this is the general first search of the game. These players do have 60 minutes available to them as well. Oh, yes. This is two out of three, unlike in Swiss, where it was best of one. Quick ball. So there's three of these decks in top eight today. Um, it is... I wrote it down. Oh, okay. My Arceus Bird, Malamar, Urshi, Moltres, Jolt, Suicune, Inteleon, Arceus Bird, Seraladon, Arceus Bird. Yeah. yeah. So we have... What is it? One, two, three, of three them. Arceus Birds and in top eight. Seed one, seed six, and seed eight are all playing this deck. This deck's really good. Yeah. It's super consistent, hits the numbers, hits everything for weakness if you need it to. It's like a toolbox. Uh, I am interested in seeing this Suicune list. Um, it's playing against uh, the Jolteon player right now, I'm pretty sure, and Ooh, Nico and Ramirez, and that's going to be a that's, rough that's one. That's probably going to be a rough one for Thomas, unfortunately, yeah, because unfortunately. Uh, Thomas but you've had the opportunity. Deck the Suicune deck can take crazy knockouts out of, every, out of nowhere. But anyway, back to this game. Let's get to... Let's get to Brian Kennedy and Aaron Rucker. So, and it looks like Brian ended his board by just getting this dark energy attached to the Arceus. Uh, that's pretty good. And benching another Sobble, and then calling it a turn. And that energy search also found in the dark energy that's currently attached to the benched Arceus. And Rucker is going to attach to Sobble and, and just keep, keep calling. calling. I mean, not a bad start, right? So this does actually like. Since Brian's going to have the first swing here, the first attack, potentially the first attack, because he can just go attach a double turbo and then just, like, use the, the second... Or he can attach double turbo, evolve into Arceus V-Star, and start dealing damage from there. So he will only be awarded one prize card because all of Aaron's board is one prize. So him seeing this, he probably conceded that to the fact of, yeah. like, okay, I'm, I'm if he's going to knock anything out, just let him take the one. Therefore, making... Brian have to play a seven prize game immediately from the get go. I mean, that was a pretty good turn. I know Aaron didn't play any cards in his hand. He just saw a draw pass. Brian just drew in past. Aaron is now gonna capitalize off of He's this. He's in the driver's seat now. Aaron says, "I have the I have the cards, bud." And he was hearing Aaron's reaction to he's like, "You said pass, <laughs> okay." So now off to the races. Four Sobble in play. Um, currently staring at the hand, we see. A lot of Pokemon and not a lot of search. Is this going to be a pass from Aaron as well? I'm, I'm not seeing anything in this hand. I don't know, man. This is... So we see Galarian Zigzagoon. There's uh, also Galarian Zapdos. Which we're going to see come down. There's the V version of it. The Fighting Energy does come down attached to it as well. And then oh, Professor's that is Research. Big research. Big research discarding. He had no, op he had no option. He had no option, right? Yeah, and he lost on a bad hand with three cards in hand. You have to go. Level Ball going to find us the first Drizzile, and then Drizzile is going to get us in, back into the deck with Shady Dealings. And just like that, we're off to the races. Aaron going to take a quick peek at his hand before he goes into the deck to figure out what card he needs. Doing things like this also speeds up your plays, and especially in a top cut situation where you want to win these games fast, so your opponent that you're playing against gets the least amount of information as possible. Because a lot of times, too, when players play out a, a top cut match, there's, 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 an, there's an art in scooping, as they oh, say. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But sometimes when, like, even if the game's not in your favor, you know, you're going to say, like, I'm going to let it go two more turns. Just I want to see, see what else my opponent has yep. to offer. Absolutely. So, Brian, not too concerned, I would say, at the moment. Aaron is just going to do a lot of solitaring this turn, though. So, Shady Dealings, let's see what the... Or, sorry, uh, yeah, this is a Shady Dealings, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's a level ball. He searched... Or he level balled for the Drizzile, yeah. Yeah. So, or maybe he is just... No, he is doing the Yeah, shady so Shady dealings. dealings to find himself an Ultra Ball. Discarding, discarding for Quick discarding Ball. Discarding it for Quick Ball, nice. 
Probably gonna get the Arceus out if I would have to guess. Oh, the Bidoof. gets the Doof instead. Ops to nine. Maybe he understands what's gonna happen here. You don't put the V Star in play. Maybe you attack with an Inteleon here and there. You let Brian do all the uh, V Starring because now right. if he puts all these Vs out. Then Fighting Instinct on the Galarian Zapdos V will just come back and capitalize on this entire situation. Oh, and just another draw pass, pass. From, Aaron, or from Brian. So back to Aaron. Scoop up net picking up the Drizzile. Let's get to work, baby. Let's start searching. There's the evolution into the oh, active. That, I wonder if that's going to... Yeah, an evolution instance here, probably. Get another Drizzile in. Oh, a boss. He says, come here, boy. Boss's orders to bring up the RCS V and... Oh my gosh, he attaches double turbo energy and this gets the knockout. He has it. Double turbo. They both burked pretty hard, but... Yeah, and Brian saying He's immediately, let's it. go over to game number two. So... He says the next card, why would he scoop there? It's only two prizes. Oh no. So, let's find some way to indicate who uh, who won game one here. Um, text. I'm pretty sure Aaron won. Oh, I know he won, but we need the, we need the chat to know. Oh, I see what you mean. So, uh, talk to these people for a second. Yeah, you know? yeah, do, yeah, do absolutely. a little plugs while we get this going. See, so, what, see what they're thinking. This matchup is kind of, literally, is probably one of the hardest in the game, is this mirror, for this reason. There's so many outs to everything. You hit the RCS V Star and the V for uh, weakness with the Moltres. Or the Zapdos, sorry, the Zapdos. You have the baby Moltres to take big knockouts like later in the game after your opponent's taken so many prizes. There's just so many things to look out for. And the Inteleon line just gets everything that you need. I I don't know how this deck isn't the best deck right now. It just seems really good. Chat, what do you guys think? Let me let me let me get some uh some truthers in the chat. Aaron bricked, I guess. Well, he, I mean, so bricking, <laughs> bricking into a win though. And for both of these guys, both bricked of them pretty, bricked hard. pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, it's just, yeah. A, just a matter of uh, Brian built a house out of his bricks, and Aaron was still just working on the base foundation. So uh, looking back, Brian hoping for a better game here. Level ball. He already has two sobbles in play. I think he just grabbed the Badoof here, right? If you try, if you're playing it. No. And oh, just man. a pass after the level ball. Aaron saying, bro, not like this. No, Aaron is saying, yes, please, more like this. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't paying that much attention. I saw attach and keep calling from. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, after that, too, we were like, oh, no, is this going to end poorly? But then Brian literally just drew pass like three turns in a row. Quick ball coming out from Aaron. Let's see what the first card he searches is. It's probably going to be one of these Sobbles, but I see a more colorful card coming to the front of the deck. No, I think it's the Sobble. I think he's just counting. See what cards are in the deck, what ne what's prized, what he needs to play around. All the things like that. Things that he has to play around. Super important to know. And so there, yeah, this in fact is going to be a search on Sobble for sure. It has to be, right? Still searching through the deck. Uh, I mean, Galarian Zapdos V is not a bad option either because he could get it uh, set up early to just capitalize on any Arceus that could, in fact, come out from Brian's side. If he has... So, okay, cool. Going for the Sobble instead is probably the safer option. If he did go for the Galarian Zapdos, actually, that kind of tells us a lot of information about his hand. Right. Because I would say, like, okay, he has a guaranteed way to attack and bosses in the same turn. Well, I mean, let's see. If So Aaron also plays into his hand saying... Hey, bud, I might have a Drizzile next turn. You should probably kill this Sobble if you can. And then here is just a pass from Aaron back from to Brian. Brian. There's one in, one Drizzile. I think he has multiple Drizziles in hand. I'm pretty sure I, if I saw that correctly. This might just be a crazy turn. And so here's the first Shady Dealing search. Wombo Combo. Happy feet. <laughs> Oh, Jeff got that Nana. And then you hear the controller get thrown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. My gosh. Yo, salty moments in Smash Bros. Like some of the Love best it. videos. Some yeah. of the best. So, 
Here, still, we're still searching on the Shady Dealings. Shady energy Dealings is going to grab the Energy Search. Energy Search going to grab a Darkness Energy. And what's next? Quick, Quick Ball, ball. sending the Darkness Energy. Maybe get the, the Big Moltres, maybe? Start getting those Pokemon down, get those energies out. Unless Brian is for... Yep, okay, so right there. Yeah. Man, so I'm a genius. Moltres. What a genius thing to say. And let's go ahead and get that Moltres on the screen for all of you at home. Oh, what a good art of that card, too. Oh, I know, dude. And as we were talking about earlier, Galarian Moltres V with that Dire Flame Wings ability. Once during your turn, you can attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. But you can't use this ability more than once per turn. So if you have multiple Galarian Moltreses out, you can't use all of them. You can only use the effect of one of them. Right. And that's the, uh, that is the, what is that? Is that Oracle text? Is that, is that, is that what that's referred to as? Or Reminder text? It's reminder text. Reminder text. But. Oh, I was talking about the game, not like your actual yeah. text. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. So, but it does have Ore Burn on the card as well. 190 damage, and this Pokemon deals 30 damage to itself. So, right now, Brian trying to sculpt the best board he can to deal with Aaron's potential coming onslaught. But looking at Aaron's board, it's not looking the best. Only having this Bidoof in play in the active and then the Sobble on the bench. We might actually see this go to game Paper three solely pumpkins. over the fact that they're just not getting the best draws they're, here. They're really just both bricking to infinity and beyond. I just don't know what... I just don't know. So are we saying, like, their decks are acting like Andy right now? And just like, I don't want you to play me anymore. And just start bricking. <laughs> kind of, actually. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Toy Story. That movie will still make me cry. Aaron's playing the same deck that Brian Kennedy is playing. They are both playing Arceus Birds. So both of these guys are playing Arceus with a slew of Galarian Moltres and Galarian Zapdos V. They both are also playing probably the baby Galarian Moltres. Dire Flame Wings on the Galarian Moltres. And a Marnie. And a Marty to... Uh, yeah, Burbs. Yeah, Burbs. My bad, burbs. my bad. I actually wrote Burbs on the sheet. You did. I can, in fact, see you wrote Burbs twice and Bird once. Yeah. Jose doesn't play Burbs. He plays Birds. And looking back at this draw off of Marnie, does Brian get anything worthwhile here? We see Evolution Incense come into the hand. We see a Training Cord come into the hand as well. Uh, both of these Pokemon did become, or all these Sobbles became Drizzles this turn. Arceus coming to the bench and just a pass. We see a draw with a scoop up net. Okay. This is rough. Oh, Aaron's hand does not look great. I see the Zapdos in Aaron's hand already, though. So, Quick Ball. Let's see what we opt to search out here. Um, I mean, like. If, okay, so scoop up net rather to pick up the Bidoof. We're going to see a keep calling. Yeah. Aaron did it last game. Let's see if it happens again this game. I think Aaron also just doesn't want to overload his bench until his opponent starts attacking. Dude, is this Greninja in 2022? That's what I'm saying, man. Is this like he's doing the same starting turns as a Greninja deck? Let me just get all of my. My boys. My frokes. All of my, my uh, whatever the guy is, Frogadier. Yeah. So, we're back to Brian. Brian is sitting on this active Drizzile that is about to become an Inteleon. Oh. Or one of them are about to become Inteleon. Damn, he, sl he slapped that card so hard. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that I from heard here, that dude. All the way over here. Yeah. Shady Dealings going to search us up two cards of our choice. This card's super fair and healthy for the format. I mean, I would I would say so that uh, Inteleon has no, I'm being made a, yeah made a lot of made a lot of decks that really couldn't get there actually get yeah, there now because you know? they can do it now yeah I I wasn't I was being genuine I really do think this is a fair and balanced card that makes it to where you could play anything if know? only Drizzle had water duplicates and you could activate Shady Dealings oh my gosh can you imagine just like how I'll, I'll get out four of these and now I'll just search four trainers as well like. <laughs> That's like back in the day when Steven's Resolve was a card. Like, you absolutely had to end them immediately. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, man, I remember Steven's those days. Steven's Resolve. Oh, my goodness. I remember the days when your opponent would start resolving, and you're just like, I'm going to play end. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, just shuffle your hand. So funny. All right, we see the V-Star come out. There's the Arceus. The god of Pokemon. Wait, do I not have ARC? 
Oh, I spelled Arceus wrong for the B star. My B. Man, you're so good. I am so good. good. You're good, Mark. I remember showing them and before they. Fi yeah, same here. I would just like be like, this is gonna happen. Let's save us all some time. But now Arceus V star coming into play. We do have Starbirth available to us. Is, this looks like what Brian just activated or is activating currently. Just figuring out what he wants to search and what he wants to add to his hand. Yeah, some might say, like... Two dark energy? He's trying to get the Moltres out? Is that what's going on? Could be. Some might say that, like, when you go to Starbirth, it's just an instant thing. Like, I mean, you should just know what cards you want. It's any two cards you want, but that, that's the crazy part of it. It's any two cards I want. You have access to 50 cards. <laughs> how, are you, how do you choose? Do you exactly. Put a cardigan on? No, this is Corduroy. Oh, corduroy. Yeah, corduroy. Uh, sorry. You look good, bud. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We see a corduroy <laughs> ball coming out. I think this is going to grab a Seismito DX. Oh, true? Oh, just a Sabo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth bench Pokemon coming down on the Brian's board. We now have a fresh Sobble ready to become the, a Drizzle on the following turn. Dire Can Flame Wings. Do it in the active two? Oh my god. From gosh, anywhere it can do crazy. it. So a knockout for Brian. Tire Flame some. Wings is so cool. What a cool card. Alright, let's see. Draw for turn from Aaron here. Taking a look at the board. Three Sobbles, one Doof. I love so. Doof. But Doof. Evolution Incense would be crazy here, because Evolution Incense could just start making all these Pokemon uh, evolve off of each ball. other. Um, I see... Energy. Oh, that's Raihan in the hand, Raihan. too? Raihan. Oh, he's getting... He's ditching the, the Zapdos. Why? Isn't that, like, a really good card in this matchup? I think so. Maybe he has multiple copies, or... No, something. that sounds fake. That sounds fake? Yeah. Yeah, fake sound news? Real. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Heard that. Big herd. Aaron really tanking over this draw or this search here. Oh, we is see he the thinking about the Moltres? I don't know, man. I guess the reason to still search three cards is well, technically you have to take at least one card still, and who knows if the end player doesn't end? I don't know why they wouldn't. But yeah, exactly. I've only seen. <laughs> huh. I haven't seen the show Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, I've only seen uh, season one and two. I didn't really care for it that much afterwards. But all right, there we go. We see the Moltres come down with the Raihan. Now searching out. For any card. The Finds the incisors. Doof. The big doof. This card's so cool. It's probably hopefully gonna unbrick Aaron here, drawing five fresh cards. That's a high five where I'm from. Industrious incisors. That Bibberal getting his teeth all nice and honed up to draw some cards. We see a Water Energy coming down onto that Galarian Moltres to satisfy the colorless oh, cost. There's the Drizzile, dude. He just got unbricked easy. Drizzile the air balloon. the air balloon. We're going to get this Bibberal out of the active. And uh, Galarian Moltres. Cool, man. Yeah. Now what is next? Here's the air balloon. Going to retreat into the Galarian Moltres. And uh, we're looking at 70 damage? Yeah. 50 plus 20. Better than zero. And Aaron just opting to not really pivot into any of these uh, big two prize Pokemon. Kind of forcing this uh, Nine more prize drawn out game. game. Yeah. We really are on a nine prize game now. So... If this Moltres doesn't move from the active on the next turn uh, on Brian's side, Aaron can do shenanigans to ensure a knockout uh, onto it. Choice band, or sorry, choice belt plus damage will get the KO onto it. Evolution Incense going to find us a Drizzile again for that one on the far side of the board. Unless that looks like Inteleon in the top. Oh, not a great hand from Kennedy. Let's see, though, because he does have that Evolution Incense. Going to search him out one of his pieces he's missing. Maybe the other Drizzile to get that Sobble going. We also see 
Inteleon at the front of the deck too. So actually going into the Inteleon wants to get the two cards off of Shady Dealings. Who are you? I don't know. Who am I? Where are you? <laughs> There we go. So, we're searching out two fresh trainers off of Inteleon's Shady Dealing's ability. Um, right now, this this Moltres is a rock in a hard place. It is pretty susceptible to getting knocked out in, a, in the coming turns. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking very confusing board for Brian right now. Just trying to piece together what he can and can't do. I think he needs to try to get that double turbo energy down soon. Maybe get that V-Star going. So two supporters look like they're finding their way to his hand. Uh, still can't figure it out. We are going to have to make an action here soon, though. This is uh, quite the long search. Did... Uh, okay. Evolution Incense... Or it was a card he just discarded because it was just on the board still. First first target of Shady Dealings is Boss's Orders. And now let's see what target number two this is. It's been like a three-minute turn, man. What's going on? Judge! We are now coming up on a full minute of a search. All right, and here is the second card of choice. Ryan. Ryhenian. What do you boss here? The Bibarel? Kill it? Bossing up Bibarel. Bibarel. The Bibs. And uh, planning to take knockout here with Orburn. Putting 30 damage on that Moltres. Yeah, that's actually what Aaron was probably banking on, was that sole fact. It's like, you're going to put 30 more damage, so it'll go from 100 to 130. And he's taking another prize, making that Moltres, the Galarian Moltres' attack do even more damage. Yeah, so Moltres is 100% got to take a KO here. Oh, I got to set up the light soon, I think. It's starting to get darker out. Yo, chat, you guys can still see the board okay, right? It's, is, or is it a little dark? Terrible. I do have lights just sitting next to me ready to be plugged in once uh, it gets dark enough. All right, so Aaron did, in fact, lose his bib roll this, uh, the last turn. So he's going to draw for turn now. A level ball for draw. Pretty good. This can find us the next Drizzile. Aaron playing this no, the so crazily. Zigzagoon for some kind of math? What kind of math? 120, 130. Um, I don't know. Oh, to kill an Inteleon? But that doesn't seem right. Aaron's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, this also is a mirror match, too. Like, I can only imagine the amount of mental jump rope you have to play in order to, you know, find the most concise play, one that's not going to set you back too far, right? keep you in the game. Mirrors are always so, so much of a back-and-forth struggle. I agree. I, uh, I think there's a lot to say about a player if they can consistently beat the mirror match. Oh, 100%. That just means you practice that deck through and through, and then the rest of the meta through and through. Right. And then sat there and had two copies of the deck in front of you. It's there in solitary gets that through and through. It's just uh, to be really good at this game <laughs> at a competitive level is to just play every deck, play every matchup possible, and you know find the one that's wins the most and make that your uh, option for whatever event you decide to play in. So still. On Aaron's turn, level balling currently, searching out a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. I think he already. Or he already the did do that, so he's grabbing the Dri or he grabbed the Drizzile, evolved into it. So now we're actually activating Shady Dealings, searching our deck for one trainer card of Dady our choice, Dady Shealings. It's a good name. Still looking through the deck, we find Clara. <laughs> Maybe this is why Aaron hasn't called out Brian because they're both going kind of slow right now. True. It's it's all right though. It's it's game one still. Or sorry, game two rather. Clara, Sob, and the Moltres, which is again or Zap like I, or Zapdos, which I said is a big card in this matchup. The Bibs. 
Is he not going to grab energy? Or was there no I don't energy think, to grab? Uh, yeah, I don't think there was any targets for it. So, Clara was a supporter we chose. Aaron just shuffling his deck from um, post Shady Dealings. Now, what is next? Here comes Galarian Zapdos V to the bench. There's currently two Pokemon Vs in play, so Fighting Instinct will reduce the cost of this attack by two, making it only cost of Fighting and a Colorless. Energy Search to find the Fighting. Wow. What a game. Wow. So Aaron setting himself up for the following turn here because this Galarian Moltres in the active will take the KO onto the active Galarian Moltres V on Brian's side, pushing Aaron down to... Four prizes, evening up the prize. This is crazy. Choice belt. Attached Energy to the V. Turn. And Smix Math Fiery Wrath, you know what I'm saying? I agree. And knockout for That's two free prizes. And Aaron now Tying evened it up. up. Man. And so, I think Aaron's playing this mirror very well. He's not letting hardly any two prizers hit the board. Hey, what up, Bus Manko? Good to see you, dude. What's up, bud? Oh, did I not ever put... Oops. It'd be so funny if we were muted this whole time. Can you imagine? I've done that before where I went like a whole hour and a half and like I didn't like look at the chat for some reason. And, uh, yeah, we were like, yo, you're muted. Like, I see your mouth moving, but uh, nothing else. Oh, man. Dude, the Pokemon battle music going on in the background right now is actually giving me nostalgia. We see the Raihan coming down, getting that energy attachment to the Arceus. What a crazy card. So good. I had to put the alerts on here. So, like, if people were falling, I didn't see it rip. I know. Sag. Not much, just chilling. Got top four out of 20 players in a box tourney last weekend. Yo, that's awesome, hey. dude. What deck did you play? Suicune. Was it Suicune? We do like Suicune a lot on this channel. We are a big Suicune stands. All right, staring back at Kennedy's hand, we see double turbo enter that hand. Yeah, but... that Raihan's really cool being able to search any card. Crazy. So... There's so many computer searches in this game. Brian committing to the RCS V star. This is a little terrifying here because now all Aaron has to do, I believe, is attach double turbo and choice belt, and that would get him a knockout here. So 170 minus 20, 150, 678 from the belt, 180 times two. Yeah, that knocks out RCS. I think so. Yeah, 100% does. Absolutely crazy. All right, so back to the Arceus and the active. You played Dragapult and Talion. That's sick, dude. I didn't Dragapult's even know Dragapult pretty pretty cool. was still a deck. A knockout. Taking only one prize. Man, Aaron is in such a good spot right now. Double, I almost said double dragon energy. Double turbo. So there's the Inteleon. This will find us any other pieces we need to complete this uh, combination Raihan, of cards for the turn. Probably for turn. Raihan for turn? No. Cape of Toughness. Okay, so this is actually exactly what um, I believe Stellar was saying in the chat earlier. That uh, Cape of Toughness makes it so that this Zapdos will end up taking Live four forever. prizes. Yeah. I don't remember which chatter was saying it, but we did learn this from the chat earlier. So Cape of Toughness followed by that professor's research. Level ball. What are we going to find here? The barrel? The Zigzagoon. What math does the Zigzagoon help here? Evo Incense, probably for Inteleon. Or the V-Star. Oh, I just realized there is Pokemon music playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the red and blue battle theme. Did I... Did you think I was crazy? I mean, dude, you told me the other night that you're, like, starting to hear things when you walk around. Yeah, true. No, I'm just kidding. You didn't say that. I did say that. Oh, you did? No. Maybe I'm hearing things then. Whoa. Attaching Cape of Toughness. Now, what 
is next. Here is the Bibs coming down Dude, onto the bench Beaver. again. Discarding the Zigzagoon. Sycamore for seven. Sorry, Juniper for seven. Sorry, Professor's Research for seven. Sorry, Professor Oak for seven. Oak Got didn't there. do that. Yeah, Oak did. Yo, TJ, effective Professor Oak. Huh? Effective Professor Oak, the card. Discard your hand, draw seven. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of Professor Oak's new theory. Or, uh, oh, Pont? Pont, Pont yeah. with Cynthia, right? Yeah, yeah. Professor Oak's new theory, yeah. yeah. Oh, finds that dark energy. So, I mean, I think we're still going to need a... Double colorless? Double turbo, yeah. Unless Aaron plays an echoing horn. That oh, would be looks like actually Jeffrey ridiculous. Chris. Oh, it looks like that... Uh, Urshifu Malamar... De no, the Malamar V deck. One in top eight. Beating out Jeff... Oh, uh, locked under path and dead draw. Those and are two very that. detrimental things that can happen. Well, I mean, the matchup's not 100% perfect. He doesn't swing very heavy, but he has big damage, too. And he's eating cards out of your hand at the same time. Yeah, so probably. Aaron just going ahead and passing here, not able to find the card he needed uh, to. Kennedy uh, scooped game one. And it's game two, and Rucker's in a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, so Aaron did just pass this turn. He was not able to find the card he needed to get the victory here. Rucker. Or it's hard not to get the victory. Rucker's to get the knockout won. onto the active Arceus V-Star. Um, Fighting Instinct was only reducing the cost by one. So Aaron still did need two other energies in addition to the fighting in order to get the damage out. So he could have been searching rough. for something like Echoing Horn to resurrect something. To get from, something yeah, else. Yeah. Get something What's really hard here is what we were talking about earlier. That Zapdos having that 50 extra health makes it to where he lives two hits. But now it's not as cool, because before you could take a knockout, take your prizes, and then it lives two more turns. Now it's only going to live one extra turn. And this he's only getting sad. one Yeah, and he's only getting one set of prizes right, off of it. Right, one so set instead of two. Now it's just, like, neutral in a sense, because, right. you know, you wanted it for that overpowering factor. Right, to be a uh, more advantageous, you know, more, more in your favor. You know, maybe it's because Aaron's not playing the right art of the card. He's not playing this, the, yeah, the one on the screen. Yeah, the Speedy Bird one, yeah. Yeah, he's not playing the freaking Roadrunner one. You need the Roadrunner Zapdos to get there. And here is Training Court to pick up one of these Darkness Energies out of the discard pile. Darkness returning to Brian's hand. We're going to see another... This Moltres is so cool, man. This Moltres is all over the place. I like For this For a Hollow Rare, and like the card's only like $1.50, I it's think, cool, too. It's cool, man. Yeah. This is a very cool card. I, I, I very much like the, what they did in Evolving Skies with the, all the Galarian birds, how they all share the same ability of, like... When it comes a into color. play, attached to of whatever the color is to them, yeah, that's so that's so cool. I like the Articuno a lot too. The Articuno is cool. Yeah, In GLC, yeah. it's really cool. Just shoot 120 anywhere you want. Shout out GLC format. Where are my GLC homies at? What are we looking for here? Field blower maybe. I don't know if this list plays field blower. You mean tool scrapper? Tool scrapper? What? No. Oh yeah, tool scrapper. Yeah, yeah, whatever. tool scrapper. Tool scrapper. It's all the same card. Yeah. Kinda. Well, no, it's a field blower. Let's get rid of the, get rid of the fields, bro. You blew off the, the fields with it, Who bro. Who are you? All right. All right. <laughs> Anyways, hey, Pokemon players, welcome back to the top eight. To the meta deck open. To the meta deck open. Wow, we see Tyler Chaplin on screen playing against <laughs> Gary Robbins. Gary playing that insane Giratina fairy build. <laughs> <laughs> that, that deck was nuts, actually. That deck was very yeah, that good. That deck was, like, ridiculous. I played it at uh, South Carolina State's one year. Broken. Very good. Broken. All right, so we see 230 damage come down onto the Zapdos. Not enough to knock it out because it is going to live for another turn, but Aaron can dedicate one more energy to it this turn to take a clean knockout onto it, but he is forfeiting it for the following turn. Arceus V Star, and we're probably going to see Aaron pop off a Star Birth here because now he uh, he too needs to put himself back in the driver's seat. Yeah. Now, now this really is looking cool. a little scary. It's so cool how versatile this card is. It's good early game to start you up, and it's good in the late game to find exactly what you need to win the game. That's so cool. What a cool card. Very cool. Thanks, Kanye. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I I don't know if Kanye was playing right now, he would definitely be playing Arceus V. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Arceus Inteleon X. And that's what's so cool, because like this card can be aggressive. It can be mid range. Like it's, I don't know. I I really like the. RCS V Star also like being able to search two cards too. I think what balances this card out entirely is literally its weakness. Yep. Because like, for the last like so many years of the Pokemon trading card game, there's always been like some kind of fighting tech that just like sacks whatever. And it's always yeah. like a one color. You could just put it in, and it just do it. Like I remember, you know, when Zorak was big, like every other deck played a Buzz. If, if, if the deck was playing Rainbow Energy, they played the Baby Buzz one. Right. Like, because it could do it. Yeah. Crazy card. That was a cool format, too. I hated Zorark, but it was a cool format. I loved beating Buzz Zorark. Rock. Yeah, bro. Of course you loved it. It's so good. Everyone was like, yo, Zorark, like, beats Buzzrock 100% of the time. And, like, that was just so wrong. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't... That's some fake news, if I've ever heard some. Uh, they all said play. Don't you... Uh, who said play? Brian uh, said play, but I think uh, the rest of them were thinking about um I think splitting. it was um, Aaron, Jose, Jeff. I think they all said play. <laughs> you have grass build uh, IRL. Yo, grass is insane in GLC. Oh, my gosh. Thinking about building water. I think that's the deck I want to play. Oh, the single prize attacking shrine decks were absolutely cancerous. Like, I could not believe... That format. Is that that format was Is that insane. Charlie Kerr? Yeah. He doesn't know anything. Good Zorak players don't lose to Buzzrock. Keck. Bro. Bro, are we all are we all just trying to like have a Fiji's Fight Club night where like eight of you have Buzzrock and eight of you have Zorak and we try to see who wins out? It's gonna be Ben Reed. He's gonna show up with a Dark Rye EX and be like, oh, what am I doing, dude? Why Dark can't Pulse, I play Dark this? Pulse, Dark Pulse? Why doesn't any of these cards Dark Pulse? I thought Charlie Bro. Kirk quit this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Not not yet this season. He hasn't. He still has a few. Uh, he has a few tokens for this season left. Hold on though. Buzzrock was just insane, dude. I don't know how Zorak like beat it most times. Give me the Badoof, he says. Give me that Badoof. Oh goodness, and that looks like a scoop from Aaron. We are gonna see a game three. We're going to game three, ladies and gents. Game three. And let me put that uh, one thingy on the screen. Go ahead and uh, reset the Yeah, I got to reset the prizes, prizes too. too. Reset the cooldowns. Hey, make sure you're macroing. Yeah, make sure you're macroing, guys. Make sure you're flashed up for this game three. Uh, this boss is pretty hard. It does have a one-shot mechanic. Uh, if you know, you know, if you stand in the fire, you are going to, in fact, get knocked out, and uh, you know, you lose your buffs. And we, we don't want to lose that. We're, we're not trying to waste gold on flasks here, guys. Yeah, we don't want to do that. All right, one game left. I have ancestral blessing active on you. Don't worry. Oh, broken. Oh, I feel like we're talking about two different games now. We were. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. You were talking about, like, League or something, and I think I was talking about WoW, but... No, I was talking WoW, Ancestral Blessing. It's a Paladin spell, bud. Oh, bro, we didn't play that class. That was a Beans class, bro. Beans. <laughs> bro, imagine playing an online video game, and your class is literally just playing for other people. Yeah, I'm just here to give people buffs and high fives. The life of a Paladin. Sounds like every support main in every game ever. Yo, fair. I don't know. I don't. I don't like playing support. I'm all about. Cause you're all about that base. That big damage. But you never do big damage. We played Among Us last night. And you only won one game. Yeah, because you did tiny damage. Or also, it doesn't help that like, I vented. Oh no, that was when I was an engineer. I killed somebody, and then as I turned around and started walking away, they ran up the hallway. Yep. Yeah. Bad game. I think you called like, me out and you're like, "What are you doing, Mark?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get these prizes fixed up. And here we are, back to game. So, game numero three for this top eight. Here comes Sobble coming. Ooh, wow! Here comes Sobble coming <laughs> out as the first search. <clears throat> About as cracked as my voice is right now. It keeps cracking. I can't understand or believe this. Drink some water, bud. Time to hydrate. No, Tord has to play Pedro on Liverpool and win it in. Wait, is that really a thing? 
Tord and Pedro are playing against each other. Man, Tord lives there. Pedro doesn't. Give him the win. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, bro, how much was your flight here? And how much was your flight here, you know? <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. I remember I was on... Um, I wonder what they're playing, though. I was reading something on Verbank, actually. And there was a guy that was like... Yeah, the dude who sharked in top eight was a jerk at uh, SLC because like it, he sharked him over like a draw or something like that. And I was just like, yes, he is a jerk. The guy who spent ample amount of money to go to the event, to practice for the event, and then pay money to have a hotel for the event, right. and then pay money to have food at the event. Yeah, this guy's totally okay with you just like misplaying on stream Stupid, and like, yeah, being dumb and, like and making misplays. No shot, Ford's dude. playing Mew. Oh man. Who, um, that over in SLC last weekend when, like, anytime, like, somebody took more than 14 seconds for an action, like, they started screaming slow play. It, it was during, like, the, the latter rounds of the tournament. I don't know. I won't lie. I was in that chat. Being a funny guy. I was also in that chat. Tor does not live in the UK, does he? I actually, I don't... He doesn't live in America. Did. That's all I know. Yeah. I he was from Norway, isn't he? Pretty sure. I think he's from Norway. I think that so. That sounds right. That sounds about right. Tord lives in Trondheim. Okay, so Norway. All right. Oh, look at that. I'm hey. busted, man. I'm crazy. I know everything. Geography gods. I haven't played this game in like four years, and I still know everyone's everything. <laughs> so here is the keep calling from Aaron's side. Dude, that's three games in a row this man has used that attack. Yeah. I think he's gone second, like... Every game? Uh, except, I think so, yeah. All three games he's gone second. No, except for the second one. Obviously, he lost. No, he won. Huh? Drizzle immediately from Brian. This game is already getting pretty deep into it, and I actually need to set up a light because it's getting too dark on the screen. But I'll do that after this top match because uh, that'd be a really big bummer if like I went through the trouble of setting up the light and they're like, we'll split top four. Yeah. <laughs> Just one more thing to set up. All right. We are at 17 minutes left. Seven, Yeah, 17 minutes left for this top eight match. We're in game number three. This is more than enough time to finish this game, I would say, seeing as both of these players are playing at pretty reasonable paces. Now. Except for, yeah, now. Except for that that game one when Brian literally took, like, seven years and, like, went back in time as well to do it again for, uh, you know, that one Inteleon surge. Whose attention were you trying to get? Was it D? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, he's in the tank, bro. Look at him. Look yeah, how serious he looks. Ben Reed on the phone, too. Who could he be talking to? No probably one will his, know. Probably his friends. He has a bunch of those. So someone rule shark their opponent in the latter rounds of SLC for taking 50 seconds or whatever to make a move. That was, Kinda, just, yeah. that was just one of the things. But, um, no, there was a... Uh, um, There was a situation on cam where I think... Somebody saw an extra card off of something. Yeah. Somebody saw an extra card off of something. Uh, that player called them out for X reason. The player got a penalty in their favor. And then that same player in the same set of three games immediately dead drew in game two and got like kind of like instant karma on it. Instant karma. Jeez, Kerr going for Ben's throat here, but Ben's not even here to see it. Whoa. Whoa. Charlie Kerr. No, yeah, the people that sit there and, like, tap their foot and count to 15 seconds whenever your opponent's playing their game, those guys are the ones that usually end up at table 356 at, by, like, round four because they're spending too much time counting instead of actually playing the game. Just play at a reasonable pace. Like, that 15-second rule should have never, ever been introduced, in my opinion, because, like, it should just be a guideline, in my opinion. Like, there's obviously clear distinctions between, or between slow playing and just actually playing the deck. Like... If I'm doing a long turn of Shady Dealings 1 off of a Drizzile, and then I'm going to evolve into a Inteleon to do Shady Dealings again, and then I'm going to play Level Ball to search for something else, and I'm going to play this card to search for something else, like, dude, as long as you're making actions, it's not considered, like, a right, slow play. it's not in a that slow fact. play. Yeah. I'm using my actions, yeah. Mark Spin, but there's times you just got to do it. 100%. 100%. I think the... I, I think that, that, like, it should just be a guideline. I don't know, man. There's been too many times where, like... I've seen people count to 10 and just be like, you need to hurry up. And it's like, dude, that's not how the game works, man. Stop doing that. Like, it's, uh, it's silly. But what about karma? Oh, my bad. I, pro I, I, I was probably, I started jumping points, but, um, no. So 
What I was, <laughs> yeah. You're great, bud. What I was saying earlier, the, the match I was referring to in Salt Lake City was there was a player on, there was two players playing on stream, right? And one player um, played a supporter. He played Marnie, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what the card was, but uh, his opponent saw an extra card and was penalized for it. And so, like, people in the, in the chat were just like, oh, my God, he's sharking, he's sharking. And it's like, well, he's not technically sharking. Like, he, that penalty, you know, like, should have happened. But then the instant karma of it, that chat was calling it, was when in game two, the guy, the guy that called out the opponent immediately dead drew. So taking a look over at these boards still, both these players still sitting at six prizes on each end. Aaron sitting on a pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy hand here. Going into this drizzle, gonna search out a trainer of his choice. Searching out the energy search to find the one dark. And the question becomes now, uh, I guess this this dark's gonna go on to the it's gonna go on to the Arceus because his bench is full right now. We don't want to attach any more to this Drizzile unless it's a water energy. Oh, the Sharker, according to chat, not my words, got karma. Again, I wouldn't call it karma and debt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And what I was saying originally was some guy was, like, freaking out in Verbank, saying, like, why did he do that? That shouldn't be allowed. Like, they're all just there. Like, basically saying, like, oh, everyone's here to have fun. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're here to have fun until you get on an airplane and pay a lot of your own personal money to go play in a tournament somewhere that's not in your hometown state. Or in your country. Or in your country. Yeah, dude. If someone got mad at me for, like, not even sharking, just being like, dude, you can't do that. That's a penalty. Like, jeez. All right, looks like Jose Marrero and, and Cole are going into a game three. What a long tournament so far. Yeah, Aaron, yeah. Aaron's in game three right now as well. Yeah, well, I mean, that one's understandable. I think Third energy coming down onto the Galarian Moltres. There is three energies in play on it. We can now use Fiery Wrath, but no prizes have been taken on Brian's side here. And just going for 20. Wow. Yeah, that's rough. Aaron probably not feeling too good about that swing there. I mean, there is... A basically set up Zapdos on Brian's bench. Evolution Incense on Brian's side. We're going to search out an Inteleon. Probably the Inteleon, yeah. Definitely the Shady Dealings one, if I had to guess. I haven't seen the quick shooting one yet today. Uh, Brian played it last game. It, but, like, the game ended as like pretty oh, shortly he after he it, played yeah. into it. He must not have been paying attention. No, it's fine, dude. You just don't pay attention. Oh, okay. Why aren't you paying attention, bro? <laughs> got him, here. got him, got him. Yo, Ben Reed sitting in front of us, sleeving up his Gym Leader Challenge deck. He opted to go for the JW Creewall Darkness deck build, grabbing that Guzzlord. Grabbing, oh, the Guzzlord is out of stock? Get wrecked, dude. It is. <clears throat> like, I wouldn't tap my foot or anything crazy, but I'm calling a judge 100% if the cards might be marked or cheating in any other way, drawing extra cards using ability under lock, something like that. Oh, of course. Those are all viable things, but like, what I'm talking about are the people where, like, you and I just sat down for round number one, our game starts, we shake hands, and then I start my turn, and I do my first search, and I'm searching through my deck, and my opponent's just like, hey, it's been 10 seconds. Like, something like that, you know? <laughs> where it's like, dude, what are you doing? Hey, it's been 10 seconds. Yeah. Hey, it's been 10 seconds that you set a point just now, Nick. I know. Do we just stop casting again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sick. Good Boss's luck. orders to bring up the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Crying Brennity might get this one here. Crying Brennity might, in fact, take the W here because this Galarian Zapdos is beefed and ready to go, but um, that is not a choice band that's or a choice belt that's attached. Still enough to take the KO, though. Just 
Brian moving down the four. Aaron still sitting on six. So now Fiery Wrath can do 120 based right here. Before not modifiers, yeah. Not enough. Bosses uh, targeting. Yeah, boss is targeting the Sobble here. Also note to players, I strongly recommend carefully laying the drawn cards on the table rather than fan drawing. Oh, yeah. Fan, oh my gosh. What was so funny on that stream, too, is right when that guy got called out for drawing an extra card, his opponent, or the guy that made the, uh, that called his opponent out, he started fan drawing himself. I was like, this guy is crazy. But... Yeah, when you're playing in a big event, you take your deck and you deal the cards, in my opinion. Just deal your deck out like a, like a deck of playing cards. So, we're still on Brian's turn. Uh, it looks like Aaron did, in fact, take one prize here. So, we are moving down to five prizes on Aaron's side. There is nine minutes left in this game, though. So, we are hopefully trying to find a clear winner within the next few minutes. Or else these guys are going to be going into time. Quick ball, sending one of these darks. Let's see. Go, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> so, Inteleon, I think now we're finally using that uh, search here. No, that wasn't that. I think that was still just a quick ball. Brian. Sometimes it gives me a headache with how he plays his cards because like he'll act, he'll play the card down and then wait like ten seconds and then pick the deck up and start searching. Okay, so Ryan. Aaron, what do you did, search here? Um. <laughs> bosses for next turn. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> but. Ryan, let's get that card on the screen too. Raihan is a supporter of choice that Brian picked for this turn. You can only play it if one of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, and if you do, search your deck for a card of your choice and put it into your hand. So this is card is kind of like another version of teammates, per se. Kind of. A, a smaller version. Yeah. Maybe even sometimes a better version, because you get the energy acceleration. Well, I mean, teammates just, just grab any two cards. I don't know, bro. You know what know. else does that? What? Shady dealing. Star birth. birth. True. True. Attaching third energy to the Galarian Zapdos V. And we will see a knockout come down onto it from that thunderous kick. I just, I think Brian's board is just so much better right now. Oh, the Thunderous Kick doesn't take the knockout? What's up? Oh, whoops. Thomas Sawyer just beat Jolteon with Suicune. Wow. No wow. way. So taking a look at the other bits of top four, like you just heard Nick say, an auto loss just beat its auto loss. <laughs> or a deck that has an auto loss just, just beat, beat its it. auto loss. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. On anyway, of, back to this. Aaron yeah. Rucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh see. Man, Kennedy whiffing the knockout there is huge. Jeff, who's going to win this game, dude? Who's winning this game? Oh, yeah, I have to say Aaron. Yep. You have to say bias, Well, biasly and watching the game, I think it's Brian Kennedy. Why? I haven't, I haven't even been over the person who's going to win is the person listening to Wonderwall right now. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, and it's definitely not Aaron. Yeah. Clara from Aaron. We're going to grab back. Dude, you're getting gray. Huh? You're getting gray. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had white in here since I was, like, 18. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Man. I feel that, dude. I'm starting to get grays, like, all up in here now. It's awful. Yeah, I lost all that. Yeah, me oh, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd gladly take grays. Bibberol coming out from the discard along with RCS V-Star. And then if we have any energies to go with it, we're going to grab one of these darks. Add them back to the hand. Pal pad. Yeah, the pal pad's been so far, dude. A blast from the past. Wow. And a boss back. Again, he's a Clara later on. It's pretty good. Here comes Bibberol with the Industrious Incisors. Attaching Dark to Inteleon. Aaron did not. Uh, or he played Clara for his turn, but um, so there couldn't be any Raihan shenanigans either to attach that water to get Aqua Bullet damage in. So I think Aaron is just playing down this Dark to have one more card then from his hand. Grabs that Clara just now off the top that he just shuffled back in via Pal Pad. <laughs> what year is it? Kennedy and Rucker? Oh, I'm telling you, dude. Bro, that's what we've been saying, man. This really is the classic Maitland matchup. Brian Kennedy versus X. Was yeah, Brian Kennedy just the main character of Cool Stuff Maitland? It's either him or Glenn Duyard. It's one of them. <laughs> yeah. The main characters of the story. Glenn doesn't work anymore, so he probably would be as much. Right. Aaron can realistically win the prize trade. Really? Wow. I could see that haul. This is rough. Evolving into Drizzile. Hey, I, <laughs> Glenn, hey, I still come play when I can. That was, that was Nick that said that. Nick said you're the, the main character of the cool stuff, Maitland. Oh my gosh, you're all the main, we're all the main characters. This anime has way too many main characters in it. It's almost like Attack on Titan too, if you think about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're all getting eaten by giant dudes. You are a Titan. Gosh. Yeah. No way, dude, my money, if I'm writing the cool stuff anime, Brian Kennedy's my main character. 100%, dude. Wild. Wild. <laughs> 120 damage. All right, now we have Aqua Bullet available to Brian. Doing main character things, like taking a knockout onto that Bibberol. And a double knockout, actually, because Man. that... Galarian Moltres had such little HP left. That's three prizes in a turn? Wow, Brian Kennedy. There we go. Aaron, not really liking the looks of this thing right now. It's still sitting at four prize cards remaining. There is three on the board for Brian. There is one minute and 52 seconds left in this game as well. We should just call time now. Oh my god, yeah. no. <laughs> Actually, I need to get Bobby. Yo, can you get Bobby? Get Bobby, yeah. What are you... Yeah, so do you have to turn procedures for them? You can't just do it? I don't want to. I'm broadcasting. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, might as well. All right. In one Not minute and twenty seconds. Oh, no. I don't think. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a winner. What about them? What about them? Oh, they're probably on a separate timer because. Uh, well, obviously, they're I, on oh. a separate timer, but. Oh, I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> what's going on with this guy in front of us? Uh, he's playing Frog Monarchs. Not a loser. I play Turbo Dragons. <laughs> All right, and we have yeah, just 50 right. seconds on the clock here. Aaron, Aaron, in the tank, just desperately trying to figure out what to do. I'm pretty sure Brian's at two prizes. He is, in fact, at two prizes. Aaron's sleeves are incredibly dark, so I can't actually tell what prize he's on. I'm pretty sure it's four still because he's only taking two knockouts. Mm -hmm. 
All right, 20 seconds on the clock. And we are about to tell these players. Uh, okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 1. I'm going to tell them the regional winners or sometimes like. 3, 2, 1. What? Why'd you do it like that? So that they have to take the headphones off. I just put a big T in their face. Wait, what's happening? <laughs>